Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina. Um, last week I had posted a couple questions because the new Cricut Craft Room came out and one of my questions was how do I get my cartridges that I have linked to my Gypsy onto the Cricut Craft Room? And the answer is I can't right now. Um, but we will be able to do that soon. It's something that uh, they're working on and we'll be able to do it soon. But in the meantime, somebody had made a suggestion and I apologize because I don't remember who it was. But on my blog they said, well, why don't you use your software, your Cricut Craft Room program, design on there, and then export it onto your Gypsy. And I thought, great idea. So um, this past week I posted a um, thing on my blog to say I had figured it out. And I had a couple people ask, you know, how do you do it? And so I figured the best way to show you is on video. So here is my um, tutorial on how to export your files from your Cricut Craft Room to your Gypsy. Please keep in mind I am working on a Mac, so what I do might be a little bit different than what you're going to do. Um, but first of all, I wanted to show you anything you need to know about any updates or anything like that. Just click here where it says View Notices, and it'll tell you all the latest announcements. Um, one of them is about the Gypsy, and um, you cannot directly link uh, your cartridges at this time to the Cricut, your Cricut.com account. So, which, you know, like I said, there's something they're working on. I'm just going to go ahead and log into my Cricut Craft Room. I am using the te my desktop version, not the online version. And I had already created a project. This is just a test project. I just put um, a picture, a uh, Christmas tree on there. So I'm going to go ahead and select my, my project and select Export. I'm going to go ahead and export this um, as a Gypsy file and not a Cricut project. It's a Gypsy file. So I'm going to hit Begin. And it says your project is being exported and that um, once it's done, go ahead and click Save to save your file. I created a folder on my computer called Gypsy Projects. And I had already saved my test project uh, here, but I'm just going to go ahead and sit, hit Save and it's going to tell me it's a duplicate. Go ahead and replace. Normally, it would just go ahead and save it. So I've saved this program now to my computer. The next thing you're going to do is open your Cricut Sync software. That's what you use to update your Gypsy and your um, Cricut Expression and your Imagine and any other um, devices, Cricut devices you have. So I have to use the Finder. You would just go ahead. Um, some people probably have it on your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and select Applications and then Cricut Sync. And I'm going to go ahead and open this. And once it opens, it's going to automatically. I have my Gypsy already connected. It's going to go ahead and look at my Gypsy and check for updates. My Gypsy is currently up to date, so there is no updates to do. And the next thing you're going to, it's going to do is pop open your project files. So these are the project files I already have saved onto my Gypsy, but I'm going to add a project. And that's the one that I just saved to my computer using the Cricut Craft Room um, program. And like I said, I saved it under a folder called Gypsy Projects and I'm going to do my test project and hit select and it's going to go ahead and add that once it's done loading that's it you're done um, you can just close out your program um, and go right to your Gypsy and your files are there easy you can plug it in cut out whatever you want to do so I just wanted to share that with you today again I think the person and I'm sorry I cannot remember who it was that suggested um, exporting the project from Crick Craft Room to the Gypsy and um, that's it for today thanks for watching and I'll see you next time